Yeah, I came to this training with um, after I tried so many things, like basically everything I came across. I was willing to try to find positive data or any kind of other relief. Um, yeah, so I came here and uh, I was looking for very specific things, pretty much the same like all the things that gave me temporary relief or any kind of smile or anything and what I found in the first time I came into this space um, was a new kind of relief that I didn't know before totally natural and unintoxicated and unexplicable um, yeah I just came to an open meeting through a dear friend and uh, I don't really remember the open meeting to be honest anything about it and uh, I decided to stay for a one day training this one I do remember <laughs> there was nothing about my descriptions that I liked but um, leaving the center in the end of the day was maybe the most profound moments in my life uh, I just felt this expansion this openness that I could not explain um, yeah it was enough for me to jump in totally enough and I jumped in and I'm so grateful for all the offerings that were here waiting for me to take them uh, I started listening to talks straight away uh, I did the four days the week after and in the end of these four days I did another one day and another four days changed my whole life uh, schedule and jumped into the 12 empowerments um, which is yeah I'm, I'm looking back at it and it's really it's yeah really powerful <laughs> yeah I didn't plan to stay in Goa more than a weekend so it's yeah um, yeah and then in the 12 empowerments I got the invitation like we've heard so beautifully in the video this morning to test everything out in my own experience I was always familiar with being a, the concept of being a researcher but I was invited to zoom zoom out always during these 12 amazing days and retest all the frameworks that I ever believed in and ever used and um, yeah really thinking about uh, why 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 do I believe so or why yeah what stands behind this framework and behind the framework of the framework and yeah and there was yeah I found nothing that I really believed in uh, yeah and that brought me back to my own experience and really believing in in the moment to moment decisions and moment to moment reality which is the only thing that we really have yeah so to have empowerment really life-changing training and um, the benefits in my life are endless they they pervade everything I'm doing and everything uh, I did my relationship with myself in the past and in the present and obviously in the future and every relationship with everyone um, yeah basically I feel that I, I harmonized all of the relationship in my life and uh, it 
definitely doesn't look like what I thought it should look like or what uh, I was expected by whoever that it will look like. Um, but it's so correct and so truth and yeah, super happy with everything. Um, yeah, and coming here back to this beautiful space every year and doing everything to support and make this availability that I got and this endless offering available to everybody is my top priority in life. It's like, uh, it's obvious that if I can gift this biggest gift that I ever got to someone else, it's, yeah, I'm willing to go to any length to make it available. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't recommend more using the four mainstays because uh, they are so available. And uh, I take short moments and still do. And it looks very different uh, all along those couple of years. Um, sometimes it doesn't look like anything and sometimes it's really profound and just trusting deeper and deeper and then that this is my go-to and not any kind of uh, avoiding, replacing or trying to play with my data stream. Um, yeah, my trainer, I just see a beautiful relationship with a big, big friendship with way beyond any friendship that I could ever expect it of someone that empowers me over and over again to be who I am, really am. Um, yeah, I'm doing training all the time, <laughs> most of you know, and uh, it's always fresh and beautiful, forever expanding. Yeah, I don't see the end of it, and happy not to. And then I prioritize my life to suit, to be with community as much as possible, whether if it's online or um, physically living with community, which is, uh, as my mother defines so beautifully, they, they just, uh, yeah, they just want you to be who you really are. And I was like, yes, that's <laughs> so true. And I never got it nowhere. I got many different responses. And I gave so many different responses, but no one ever really wanted me to be who I am. Uh, which is amazing, and I'm so grateful to each and every one of you for supporting me to be me. Yeah. <laughs>